This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 44, and it reads, red letter, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world everybody calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world everybody calls Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai, meaning He is salvation. Bahashem, in the name, Rakah Kodash, Spirit Holy. The blinders to the apostles. And elders of great millstone will teach one rule who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwathim listening, listening and learning in sincerity and in truth, and in silence, Shalom. Akiyam, meaning brothers, Akwathim meaning sisters, Shalom, meaning peace, be unto you. This is your brother Shema from the GM Astrono camp here in Toronto here to take another lesson. Right? But we'll get right into it. And we'll read from Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Verse 36. And this is a red letter. Our Lord said this, Yahweh Shai. And it reads. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Right? The day of the Lord returning. Our Lord Yahweh Shai returning to bring judgment to this place. Right? Scriptures say, um, right, Yahweh Shai and the angels don't know. Only the Father knows. But Yahweh Shai is waiting to uh, redeem his elect. Isaiah 42. Uh, let's read this in the uh, NLT. Right, because the Lord Yahweh Shai is sitting on the right hand of his father, waiting for the day of vengeance. Psalms 110 and 1. It says here, the Lord Yahweh gives dominion to the king, the king being Yahweh Shai. A psalm of David, the Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, right, the Father said unto my Lord, the Son, and this is David speaking in the Spirit, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool, right? So the Lord Yahweh Shai is in the heavens, sitting on the right hand of his Father until it's time to make his enemies, beginning with you Edomites, his footstool back in uh, Isaiah 42. Let's read this in the NLT. So once once his father gives it, once once the Lord Yahweh, who is the father, gives his son the green light, Yahweh Shai, this is what he's gonna do. Isaiah 42 Verse 13, NLT, the Lord Yahweh will march forth like a mighty hero. He will come out like a warrior, full of fury. Right, the Lord Yahweh Shai can't wait, man. He will shout his battle cry and crush all his enemies. Right, we're reading this in the scriptures. The Lord's coming to judge and make war. Right? 
on his head were on his head were many crowns. Revelation 19 and 11. This is a vision of John the Revelator. And it reads, And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. White is symbolic of a pure. Horse is symbolic of power. Right? This, these are the chariots that, that, that John the Revelator saw. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. That's Yahweh Shai. With the host of heaven on a chariot. And in righteousness, he died to judge and make war, right? So Yahweh is coming to judge in righteousness, right? And make war. This is in the scriptures. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns, right? Because he's going to take it down all the rulerships. Including the chief offender, Esau Edom. All the rulerships are going to be taken down by Yahweh and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself, right? His rank. All right, let's go back into um, Isaiah 42 and 14, the NLT. It reads, He will say, I have long been silent. Yes, I have restrained myself. But now, like a woman in labor, I will cry and groan and pant. I will level the mountains and hills, right? All governments. Yahweh Shai is going to level them. And blight all their greenery. I will turn the rivers into dry land. And will dry up all the pools, right? Because the destruction that's coming. Thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. In tandem with the laser beams from the chariots. That's what's coming. Matthew twenty four and thirty seven, red letter. But as the day but as the days of Noe were, Noe being Noah, right? So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, right? And this is what's going on today. Right, everyone's consumed with the cares of this life, their career, the rat race, pursuing a degree, education, right? You have children, you're consumed with your children. Right, just consumed with the cares of this life and not knowing that the day of the Lord is at hand. Right? Until the day that Noah entered into the ark, right? So in the, in the, in the, in uh, prior to the flood, there were people scoffing Noah while he prophesied. Noah was warning of a flood coming. And they were pro they were the, the people were scoffing. Today, the men of the Lord, the prophets, the elect, Lord willing, with that number, are warning of the missiles, are, are warning of destruction, are warning of, uh, of of Jacob's trouble. And our people, two thirds of our people, are scoffing, bucking up, refusing to hearken. But every time the Lord is about to make a move. He sends forth his prophets. Jeremiah 7.
Bear with me, Salakia. Jeremiah 7. Verse 25, and it reads, Jeremiah 7, 25, and it reads, Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt, unto this day I have sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, Daily rising up early and sending them, right? The Lord always sends his prophets to warn before he makes a move. Yet they hearken not unto me, right? Two-thirds of the people. They don't listen. They don't receive it. Nor incline their ear, but harden their neck. They did worse than their fathers, right? Because two-thirds of the people are a rebellious house. They're stubborn, they're stiff neck. Right? They don't want to hear it. Only God can judge me. YOLO. Right? That's a Sky Daddy book. White man with the Bible. Right? Verse 27, Therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them, but they will not hearken to thee. Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. Right? And that's two-thirds of our people, man. Rebellious, stiff-necked, uncircumcised ears. All right, that's it on that. Um, back in Matthew 24, Verse 38, once again, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, right? The cares of this life. You know? Uh, boasting what they're going to do tomorrow. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, right? The same way the flood came and took them all away, the missiles are going to come and, and, and pelt this place. Babylon the Great, America the Great. Verse 40, Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, the elect, and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, right? Working, going about their business. The one shall be taken, and the other left. It says here, be ready for his coming. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Right. And who's watching? Who's measuring the time diligently? The elect. Right. Second is just nine. Truth is, people have no idea what's coming. They don't know what time they're in. Right. They're still in that mirth spirit. They're still in that me, me, me spirit. They're still boasting of tomorrow, what they're going to do. Right? What their plans are. Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Right? And how, and how, do, the, how do the men of the Lord, how do the elect, Lord willing, were of that number, Measure their time by filtering what they see going on in the world with the scriptures. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, the prophecies, which I have told thee before, right? So when you see these prophecies starting to manifest, you're measuring the time and you're seeing things come to pass. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time we're in the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, right? So the elect, the prophets will be measuring the time, watching for the coming of our Lord, being ready for his coming. 
Matthew 24 and 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Right? So the elect are watching, the prophets are watching. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would have would not have suffered his house to be broken up, right? If you know when a thief is coming, <laughs> you're going to stay awake and wait for that thief. You're going to watch. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh, right? Could the scripture say the Lord, the, the Lord cometh as a thief in the night? Right? Second uh, Peter. Second Peter three and ten, and it reads, it says here, a new heaven and an earth, a new heaven and earth, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right, that when Yahweh Shai returns, he, he's coming as a thief in the night. No one's going to be ready. No one's going to know. By surprise, right? A home invasion. Right, the home being the house of the thief, the invasion being the invasion being Yahweh and the angels. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, right? The great noise being the missiles, right? The heavens being the rulerships, right? Beginning with Esau, Edom. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, right? That's that thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missile destruction. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up, right? The works, the wicked works of Esau, Edom, it's all going to be burned up, man. Verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, right? The elect, the manner of persons that the elect shall be in, right? Because they know that all the all of this, the fashion of this world is gonna pass away, gonna be burnt up with 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 nuclear fire, nuclear heat. It says here, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversations, conversation being a lifestyle, conduct, and guidiness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, right? And the elector in that spirit, looking for the return, hasting the return. Let's look at this word, hasting. Strong's G, 4692, Spudo. Spudo. Right, to haste, make haste, to desire earnestly. And the Strong's probably strengthened from G4228 to speed, i.e. urge on, diligently or earnestly, by implication, to await eagerly with haste unto, right? The elect are awaiting eagerly. They desire earnestly. Right? There's a sense of urgency for the return of our Lord, the elector in that spirit, man. The rest of these zombies out here, man, they're all caught up in, in, in the cares of this life. You know, the Starbucks in the morning before they go to work. You know, punch in their clock. You know? A career... Uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, post-secondary accolades, you know, degrees, you know. Some people put their whole or their any their their entire energy near the children, right? They they may have a child that's in uh, uh dance or or sports, you know, and they're just consumed. They're chasing a dream of little Johnny or or, or Tammy, you know. Be, be being a, being a uh, 
an athlete in the world when they grow up. You know, these are all cares of this life. Right, so the the elect are, are, are hastening the return of our Lord, man. The, the elect aren't, are, aren't invested in this place. Verse uh, 13, nevertheless, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, the promise, the promise that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is going to return, redeem his elect, destroy America, the great Babylon, the great, put 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 Esau, Edom in, in, in subjection, beginning with his nobles. New bodies for the for, 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 for the elect, beginning with the elect, all of Israel, but beginning with the elect on this side. Look for new heavens and new earth. Look at this word, new, it's a quenos. In, in the Greek. Strong's G, 2537, Kainos, Kainos. New, a respect's form, recently made fresh, right? Recent, unused, unworn, a respect substance of a new kind, unprecedented, uncommon, unheard, right? Refre refreshed. In the Strong's, uncertain affinity, new, especially in freshness, right? And what is going to cause, what is going to cause, uh, uh, the earth to be refreshed. What's going to purify the earth? Fire. Right? Fire. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens, the we being the elect, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness right and the kingdom of the kingdom of heaven will be on earth as it in as it is in heaven refreshed purged with the fire all wickedness will be consumed and done away with right anyways that's it on that man not too long Matthew 24 and 44, once again, therefore be also ready for in such an hour, right? And the elect are going to, are, are going to be looking for and and, 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 and and hasting and watching for the return of our Lord to, 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 to be ready for in such an hour as ye think not, right? When you least expect it, the Son of Man cometh. So with that, call Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach one rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect.